First of all, make sure the water is flowing. Don't use while the water isn't flowing. Use the focus tool. This one's just a little bit out, out, out there because I can't quite lift it up enough, but I've tried to make you some steps so you can adjust the, the bed, but make sure it's roughly in focus. You, um, if you check that everything's working by uh, go to the controller, go to connection, and it'll say device connected. If it doesn't say device connected, turn PC off, make sure the PC's on, sorry, the, make sure the laser's on before you um, start Meerkat. You can check it's working by using that navigation and you can just home it and it will home. I've drawn a screen. Um, I'm going to navigate and I'm going to home it so I'm in the top left hand corner. Um, here if I set this to 1000% uh, one, well 1000 power of 1000 um, that's equivalent to 100% it's 100% of the 22% I've set it on the board and that would be about 12 milliamps which is about the maximum you'd want to push the tube at uh, for a 40 watt tube so if I'm engraving I'm going to drop that value down to let's say uh, 300 which would be 30 percent I arm and I press start and it's engraving and I could see if I just run that again I'll just double check that was running about 4 milliamps I could probably increase the speed slightly so increase the speed here I wouldn't know what the maximum speed is but probably around about 200 would be about the maximum so if I do uh, 100 millimeters per second on there whoops try to do this on my knee and arm and start done okay I'm going to do that one more time while I video it so you can see it working So this is speed of 100, power of 300, which is 30%. So that'll be a very light engraving. Arm, and start. You can see, very light engraving. If I just move uh, the head over a little bit, let's just, let's just hold it. And let's, uh, so you can see a fresh one, let's move that. Um, start. This time I've put um, I've put my square there. I've set it to three millimeters per second. Could go probably go a little bit faster, but I'll leave it at that for now. Full power. I've double clicked on here, and I've changed it to two passes. I think until you get a new tube you'll probably want to use two passes to go through most things so I'm going to home it as I said I've got two passes so I'm going to arm it and I'm going to start it about 10 milliamps it's not quite in focus because you can see that the black mark is quite thick that's the first pass you just about to see there look actually cut it through you can see it underneath and the bed.
So this time I've got um, a, just a plain black and white image. I'm going to try and engrave it on some slate to show you um, how to do that. Um, I've, I've already positioned it on the slate and, and the, in the board, and you, you'll see that in a minute. But if you go to navigate, when you've got your thing where you want it to be on your board, you can use these buttons just to make sure the top right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, bottom left, and top left line up where you want them on your um, on your image so I'll just go to home and I'll close that Top um, I've gone for 600 for 60 this is the first time I've done it on this laser for a while so I think that's about right um, if you right double click on here you can change where's it gone you can change this type of image it's being used as it's one of these up here I think it's advanced there we go. Um, so it's, we're using dithering, and this is the method. Um, it's loads. I normally use um, Floyd or Stucky. It shouldn't really matter um, in this case because it's just purely a black and white image. But I'll show you a photograph uh, later. If you were going to invert it and do it, on, you know, white on black, which I'm not going to show you in a second, um, you'd use that one there. So we'll just leave those settings as they are for now. I am going to put the air on. and then I'm going to set it running and I'm going to try and film it for a bit and then show you uh, what it does at the end so armed 60% 60 start I'll take a while to process I should have I armed it first Okay. Right, and I'll show you on the uh, on the camera what's going on. So you can see that. Twenty-two percent look. The sixty percent means it's pushing up to about five milliamps. It's nicely etching that. Um, that thing there. I guess I could leave that going. Let's see what it comes back to. things to, to do with the laser. I've got a white tile which um, I'll show you on the camera in a second. Um, it's been painted with white paint. This is called the Norton white tile method. The titanium oxide in the paint uh, will turn black. I think I've got the image the right way around. Uh, I don't think I need a negative image, I can't remember, but I'll have a play. So I've kept it at 660. Might drop the speed down a little bit to 40. In this case um, I'm going to open the image I'm going to change the uh, dithering to a stucky because I like the stucky one but, right I've already um, aligned it and focused it uh, as best I could for this example so I'm going to arm it you can hear I've got the air on I'm going to start it will take a minute or two before it starts because it's got to process the image Okay. 
okay so it's finished you can see that is not bad for a first guess at quality and size 